Hello, it's Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics. Hey, uh, going to show you a couple of little accessories. Uh, we're, we're adding a few accessories to our shop bike just for to make it more fun when we use it. Um, one of the little accessories that I like to have, I guess I'm old school, I still like to listen to an iPod, so is the Honda Line Accessory iPod cord, <coughs> accessory cord. So, um, the steps to install this are, step one, tear your motorcycle into a thousand pieces so that it looks like this, all right? Once it looks like this, then it's pretty easy to install this part. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we're actually gonna install the XM antenna. We'll show you some of that in another video as well as we're doing that, but, so, you need to remove <coughs> um, your side covers, seat, uh, the radiator trim stripes, fairing side panels, um, then the whole tank shelter assembly, and uh, then you can get to this part. And what you're after is an electrical connector that's taped to the harness. Come on in here real close. <coughs> it's taped to the wiring harness down in here. So Honda's, they, they just wrap a, a band of electrical tape around it. So if you just have to get you some, these, I just happen to have a really long needle nose, but little needle nose will get it. Reach in there and you can just kind of peel away at the electrical tape until it breaks. And then it, what it'll do is it'll free this connector right here is what we're after. And once you have that connector free, it's very simple from that point. You're just going to connect this. Um, it has a locking clip, so it's quite nice. You'll route this past the fuel vent lines, out the other side of the bike, <coughs> and uh, again, make sure you're not getting monkeyed up in the fuel vent lines, which I did. So here's a good example of what not to do. I'm I'm, I'm wrapped in between the fuel vent lines, so we're going to pass this back through. Again, and make sure we avoid that. All right, and then that vent line is actually supposed to be on top of there. All right, so <clears throat> there's our harness. It gets through. And then there's a little a rubber blind plug in this hole right here. You pop the rubber blind plug out, and then come on up in here and look. Um, then you're just going to pass the head of your iPod cord into here. Um, it has. A rubber grommet so work the rubber grommet in to keep it keep it watertight um, you have to wrestle with it as you can see but the watertight is important so all right so there here you can kind of look in there there's the grommet installed in here it will let you kind of pull your cord, you know, in or out some for some slack if you want. They supply a single zip tie um, with it, so you can zip tie this cord, um, you know, the cord to the one of these little plastic brackets here, you know, if you want. And then there's your cord in there, so you hit your iPod up, so you got your, your tunes while you're cruising down the road. And I guess even that slot in the phone there is so you can lay your iPod down in there. All right, boom. Then just uh, put all the bodywork back on and you can listen to your iPod. That's it for that accessory installation. That one's pretty easy, actually, with, once you're familiar with moving the bodywork. So uh, we haven't done a video on removing the tank shelter yet. Maybe we'll do that on another day. But there, we do have a video on mirror, one on the upper fairing, one on the radiator stripe. So you can get all that stuff off. Tank shelter is a little bit more work. Um, but uh, we'll do that one day. And, and, um, and then uh, coming up, we'll do an XM radio in, antenna installation.